Hi, this is Tina Walker today and I am going to share with you the project I made with my erosion bundle. I still have pieces and parts left over. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm just going to use some of it for some journaling pages or make another small mini, but I wanted to show a video. Videos show these dimensional projects much more than um, just photos. I will take some photos as well, but wanted to show the video. So I incorporated parts of my erosion bundle. The only thing that I used in this book that was not part of the original erosion bundle was embroidery floss, which I think when I bury some more bundles, I'm going to just put a maybe a cream colored or a white colored um, thing of embroidery floss in my bundle so it gets dyed naturally. Um, other than that, oh, and then the binding. So the, the binding that you can see in here was some eco-dyed watercolor paper, like right here. Um, so that was not part of my erosion bundle, but what I covered it with here, this was in my erosion bundle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and walk through. On the cover, it's some of that leather. I really love how crinkled and bent um, this leather was just from being in the ground and being wet. And I did wash it off, but some of the dirt stayed on. So you know what? I went, kind of went for it because I really like that look. And this is the a piece of the rusted license plate. I just cut a small section of it. And I liked how this piece was just folded over right here naturally, so I just went ahead and left it. Um, and then this is all part of the erosion bundle. There was some cheesecloth, and then this was a big piece of lace, and I just cut one of the flowers out. And then on the inside, um, since my paper was really fragile from the bundle, um, it actually collaged really nice. I just made sure I put plenty of matte medium underneath, put some on top, and it's, it's, it's stuck on there. It's not going anywhere, but I really love just these little subtle pops of some um, color. Um, so here's this page. It's some of the um, wool felt that was in the bundle with some of the ribbon that I had in the bundle. And on this page here is another one of the leather scraps that I, I went ahead and folded this corner over. Um, it wasn't folded over. And then this was actually glued right onto it. I didn't glue this in. It stayed part of the leather. So I just used that piece. This was an envelope that I had put in the bundle. This is part of that envelope. And I just ripped it and just kind of really love that organic edge. And on the back side, um, there was some quilt fabric in the bundle. So I collaged some of the papers. And you can see it's just little bits. I just, if it ripped, Wherever it's laid, I, I kept it on the page and just collage it down. And again, it's, it's on there pretty good. This was what I tied the bundle with. It was pretty eroded and it was falling apart. So I just wrapped it in a circle, if you can see that there, and then stitched it down. Then on this side, um, this was that leather in, the, in kind of all its glory. So you can see how bent over and folded over it was. These were, again, were pieces of paper that were stuck to it. I just put a layer of matte medium down on top of it so it would stay on there and kind of let it go. I really just like how, how organic. I couldn't have made that if I tried. Same on the back side. This is the back side of that piece. So it's all folded over and then I put another piece of leather on this side, and again, it was folded with some of that dirt right here. This was the wire ribbon that was on the outside of the bundle, and I use that a lot in here. I really just I like how it was cut up, and then I just stitched it down. This is another piece of the envelope on the back. You can see the envelope, and I just, again, stitched some of the cheesecloth down. This was the bottle cap that was in the erosion bundle and I just glued it down to a piece of leather. And on the back side, 
you can see some of the leather peeking through and then I just collaged some of my paper here and then put this on here. This is a metal piece that I stitched down to, to this. This was one of the keys that I had put in the bundle so I just stitched it on that little square. The back side, more of that metal. You see more of the ribbon here and again just more stitching, more collaging of the paper. This bag is actually part of the bag that was here. Um, I cut that up in multiple layers and I really 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 liked how that turned out and this is another piece of that bag with some um, papers collage down. The other key and then another one of the metal pieces that I had in in the erosion model. And then this is an envelope with some paper collage down and then another piece of the metal that was in the bundle that I just stitched down. And then this was some of that heavy duty cardboard book board and just collage some more of that paper down on the back and did a simple treatment on the back of it. So that is my mini book. It took um, several days to put it together because I really wanted to make sure the parts were glued down because this is so dimensional, bumpy, thick. Um, it's not like you can put a layer of glue down and it stayed. So. I made sure each page was glued and then as I was putting them into the binding did a couple pages at every night and just made sure it was glued down really well. So now I think it's it's pretty sturdy so you can see how thick it is. I love chunky little books like that. So I hope you enjoyed my project and thanks for stopping by.